Hello everyone, Deb Floros, guest designer for Rings and Things. Today I'm gonna show you how to make some button earrings using some interesting techniques. I've got some bead bumpers and these beautiful JBB findings buttons. I've also got some acetate charms and some kidney ear wires. The first thing I'm going to do is widen out that little crevice or that place where you add your charms on the ear wire. I'm using some finishing pliers and finagling them onto the barrels and just opening up that section of the ear wire so that I can fit my charm on. Then I'm gonna take those tiny silicone bead bumpers. I'm going to add one then the charm and then the other. They're really hard to see, they're so tiny. But this is going to keep my uh, charm from coming off the ear wire, but still allow it to move. Now the next thing I'm going to do is something a little bit interesting. I'm going to grab earring backs, the silicone kind that have the little ridge around them. And I'm going to take one and I'm going to slide it onto the kidney ear wire and it's just going to get pulled over around the wire and I'm gonna use this as a base for my button. So I'm gonna get my button onto the ear wire and I'm gonna make sure it's oriented right. Yeah, I didn't get it right the first time. And I'm gonna pull that button on and then I'm going to add the second little um, ear back, earring backing, and I'm going to push it all the way around so that it meets up with that button. And then I'm going to push them together so this will greatly reduce the movement of that button, which is the challenge in using buttons in your earrings. So I love how this works. The last thing I'm going to do is adjust the hook that the kidney ear wire is going to go into. You can find all of the pieces and parts to make these earrings at ringsandthings.com. Thanks for watching.